Imagine you're trying to find the velocity and acceleration of a rocket blasting itself into the sky. But the only information you have is how far the rocket is from you, r, and the angle it's measured at, theta. Polar coordinates don't describe motion in terms of the i and j unit vectors you're used to. Instead, polar motion uses unit vectors er in the positive r direction and e theta in the positive theta direction. Note these unit vectors are defined to be perpendicular to each other. If we wanted to show the velocity vector, it will have a component vr in the r direction and v theta in the theta direction. This can be expressed mathematically as v is equal to r dot er plus r theta dot e theta. If we wanted to show the acceleration vector, it will have a component ar in the r direction and a theta in the theta direction. This can be expressed mathematically as a is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot squared er plus r theta double dot plus 2r dot theta dot e theta. r is known as the radial distance in meters and theta is known as the angular measurement in radians. These other terms are simply their time derivatives.